I cannot believe I have to make this video. I really can't. I, I thought this was common knowledge. So we're going to look into this. Foxes versus improvised. Um, I'm sorry, I'm still under a little bit of disbelief. I recently had a, we'll call it a conversation. A um, non-polite conversation with a Division 2 streamer who clearly doesn't understand the workings behind damage, the way in which it's calculated, uh, just, well, anything really, which it's not his fault. If you don't look into it, you don't know. You literally go by what you see. You, you do clicky-clicky or buttony-buttony, bullets go flying, they hit bad guy, you see big numbers, eventually bad guy fall over dead. I get it. But what I drew issue with was he was advising people incorrectly, giving bad information, and then when people confronted it, he starts screaming, shouting, and telling them that they are wrong and he is right. So right here I have improvised. And um, are they bad? Not at all. I've even had to change over the mod on my weapon because I'm over my crit chance. As you can see, I am not doing too bad a damage, hitting near enough a million, just under. And they're not bad. I will never argue that going for a good set of improvised is bad. However, particularly on things like your knees, there are better choices. Foxes are pretty much up there. If you don't like moving too much, Sawyer's knees are actually probably the most damaging knees in the game. As you can see here, my average damage at the upper end with all my stacks, because I'm using Perfect Optimist, is about 988,000. We're now going to look at DPS. I've had many conversations about DPS just because people don't understand the difference between DPS and TTK, time to kill. So we're now going to look at the DPS, and um, this is where you'll notice something hilarious. So there it is, there's the enemy that's dead. And we're about 6 million DPS, and yeah. Is that bad? Not really. However, we're just going to do one really simple thing, just put Fox's Prayer on. And um, yeah, a little bit over on the uh, crit chance now, so I can actually uh, remove that and put my crit damage back on, because we were missing it, we were 5% below. So we're now back to 60. And we're just going to do some DPS on the thing. Look at that, look, 9.8 mil, straight away. So already we're doing more in terms of DPS. And now we're going to put it back to Invulnerable Elite. And we're just going to check our overall sort of damage. Uh, if you remember, it was about 90, 988,000 we were hitting, roughly at the top end, approximately. And we're just going to not get the minigun out. Back to doing some lovely little headshots. Blah de blah de blah. Oh look, we're in the millions. We're in the friggin' millions. Why is this? It's because multipliers will always beat critical hit damage to a certain point. In order to beat roughly a 10% multiplier, you need something like, depending on the multipliers and the other things in your build, but you will need approximately 8.6 to 22.5% more damage. Multipliers also affect your crits and your non-crits. Guess what? Critical hit damage only affects. You're not always going to crit. Can people stop being an idiot? Please. Foxes are better than improvised. End of discussion. Stop posting crap.